Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got my Greenworks 40 volt electric lawnmower here. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. We're going to talk about a little bit of the downsides of using an electric lawnmower over a conventional gas engine. Let's start talking about it. So here's the skinny. You've got an electric lawnmower, or you're thinking about getting one, not quite sure. You want to know what the downsides are. One big upside is never having to go to the gas station again. It's running on electricity. However, the batteries are only going to last so long, and even whenever you go to recharge them, you can't just pull them out of here and throw them straight on the charger. These batteries are not liquid cooled like in a Tesla. These things get hot. Whenever they get warm, they need to cool before you can charge them again, and then once they're done charging, they need to cool before you put them in here. A warm battery just isn't taking, or in my experience, a warm battery just isn't taking the charge like a cool battery does. It either says it's full when it's not, or just straight doesn't get charged at all. It just stays low, and you go to put it back in, you get 30 seconds worth of mowing, and it stops again. Not good. However, I have done review videos comparing the whatever brand this is. I don't even remember what brand this is. It doesn't even say on it what brand it is. I want to say it was something like Energy Up. Energy Up. It's spelled funny, but it's Energy Up. But comparing that battery to the battery that came with the lawnmower, both of them are two and a half amp hours. Yeah, two and a half amp hour batteries. They're not bad if you're the type of person that only mows when the grass is dry and you mow your yard regularly like you're supposed to. If you are the type of person like me, like me, who doesn't always get the yard mode exactly when it's supposed to happen, or like this year, we've had quite a bit of rain. A wet grass is bad on any mower. It sticks, it clogs, it doesn't eject like it's supposed to, and causes things to run like crap. On the electric lawn mower, it just causes the batteries to run down fast. So, the other day, whenever I mowed the yard, I kind of did a little timer on it to see, because I, so the other day, whenever I mowed the yard, I decided it was time to try a different battery, something a little bit bigger, just a little bigger it's twice as big it's not physically twice as big but it is bigger what I did do I got on Amazon and I ordered the Lassia 5 amp hour battery which is a little bit bigger physically but still work within the mower what I discovered however even though this is twice the capacity of the smaller ones the bigger battery doesn't get hot as fast it feels like it's got more power whenever it is mowing and I got between three and four times the runtime and it felt better while I was mowing. What that tells me is this battery, because it doesn't have to work as hard, isn't getting as hot as fast, which allows everything to just work better. Now whenever I mowed my yard the other day with the new batteries, comparing the new and the old batteries, I measured the grass before I started. My front yard, as you can see here, was fairly short. The backyard, however, a little taller. And this is what I was cutting the yard down to. I set the mower down to level two, which is only about an inch and a half high. The grass was completely soaked, horrible Horrible do, horrible do, all over everything. It had rained also. Worst case scenario. I was like, all right, I know I'm not going to get the whole yard done. I'm going to run out of battery, but I'm going to do this anyway, and I'm going to compare and see how much longer these batteries last compared to the Greenworks brand and the Energy Up battery, because both of those perform identically. They are almost exactly the same across the board. The only difference that I could see was the Energy Up battery doesn't have the little rubber. It's a hard plastic on the outside side where this one's got that little bit of rubber cushion to it and the new one has the rubber cushion on it so if that's something you need yeah you know whatever but anyway went to mow the yard i don't remember if it was green works or the energy up battery on the front yard lasted roughly eight minutes with the first battery second battery was only seven minutes and some change because i finished the front yard went around to the back and started on it which as we remember quite a bit taller continued to mow the backyard with you know sequential other batteries because i've got multiple batteries of each and they were lasting the smaller batteries were lasting roughly four to five minutes maybe and that whole time it's just it's not performing as good as it should because a i've got this thing set all the way down to the two and i'm mowing through grass that is super tall so i'm expecting it to get hot and die what i didn't expect is whenever i put in the black battery the five amp hour twice the capacity you assume it should last twice as long so if i'm getting four to five minutes out of the smaller batteries you kind of guess it's going to be around eight to ten that wasn't the case when 
whenever I was mowing the backyard with the bigger batteries, I got 14 minutes and some change on one battery, 15 minutes and some change on the other one. That's right, I, I bought two batteries, two more batteries. I think we're up to six or seven batteries now, maybe. I, I, don't, I don't even keep counting anymore, there's so many of them. But the point is, the bigger battery way outperformed the smaller one. So, if you do have one, a Greenworks 40 volt electric lawnmower, or you're considering buying one, definitely look at stepping up into the bigger amp hour battery. That makes a huge difference. But like I said a while ago, the biggest drawback for me is when the batteries get hot. You go out and you use them, you mow your yard. If you don't get the yard finished, you're left with some grass that's not cut, a battery that's warm that you have to let cool. I set mine on the hardwood in the house and it sits there. I give it two or three hours to cool down before I take it out and put it on the charger. Once it's done charging, I like to let it sit for at least an hour before I go to use it again. So basically, that's most of the day. If you can't finish your yard with what you've got, plan on it being the next day before you can mow again. If you're the type of person that's wanting to put it off, a good idea. But if you wanna get things done, you need to have multiple batteries. You need to have options. You need to be set up for the worst case. Or plan on taking more time to do it. You can't just fill it up with gas and keep going. But you're not having to change your oil every year. You're not having to worry about a carburetor that's getting gummed up with crap because it's set over the winter. You put it in the charger and you're good to go a short while later. And if you're a tree hugger, you're helping the environment because you're not burning gas. I'm not a tree hugger. I like the electric lawnmower. I think it was a good move. If you're the type of person that struggles with starting your lawnmower, let's say your lawnmower is not tuned as good as it should be, and your wife calls you whenever you're not home, says, I can't get the lawnmower started. Well, with this, you really don't have that problem. You simply put a battery and you're good to go. That's, that's it. That's as hard hard as it gets. Push a button, pull a lever, and off you go. This thing weighs next to nothing. A small child can push this thing around because it literally weighs about as much as a child's toy. But even with the new batteries working so much better, I still found a problem. It's a little bit bigger. You see how it's just a little bit taller? Just a little bit, just a little bit taller. It's only a little bit taller, just a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong end, wrong end, wrong end. There you go, there you go. Flat on the bottom, a little bit taller. See that? Just. Just that little bit, just that little bit taller goes in just fine. No problems at all. But whenever you go to take it out, there's not enough room and getting a handle on it is kind of a pain in the butt. Lassia, I think I'm saying that right. If you're watching this video, and you should be because I'm talking about your product, put a handle on this thing. Just a little loop, something I can grab and pull it out. I can squeeze the little release lever, little release lever, and grab a handle and pull it out. That would make things so much better because this is kind of a pain to pull out of there. Not a lot of room under the hood. And when you're trying to squeeze your fat fingers, are my fingers fat? Are they? Do I have fat fingers? Fat? No. When you're trying to squeeze your fingers in there, it gets a little bit tight. Unless you have little dainty hands, which I, I don't. I don't have I don't have huge hands, but they're not dainty. But there you go. The Greenworks lawnmower. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. But if you're willing to put up with a little bit of headache and you go ahead and spend the money and get the bigger battery, get the bigger battery. If you want to spend all that money and get the Greenworks brand, you go right ahead. If you want to save some money, like I said, this one's a Lassia, L-A-S-I-C, -I, I don't have to spell it. There's a picture. Get the bigger battery. Anyway, I know most of you subscribers were expecting a car video today. It's got wheels, four wheels. It's got adjustable ride height. It's like having coilovers or air ride or hydros or something, I don't know. But hopefully, if you're thinking about getting a lawnmower, this will kind of open your eyes a little bit. And if you've already got one and you're just playing with that stock battery, stop wasting your time. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you got something out of the video, hit that little like button. And you should totally subscribe. Totally subscribe. For more amazing, awesome content just like this. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.